My name is Obioma Ezenwogodo, the chairman MBA Garuki branch, Abuja. That's where I am. I am a legal practitioner. Uh, I reside here in Abuja and I practice here in Abuja. Okay. Um, yesterday, you issued a statement um, with regards to a certain report uh, on alleged kidney harvesting in Abuja, which you titled Condemnation of the Illegal Kidney Trade in Abuja and Offer of Free Legal Assistance uh, uh, to Victims of Such. Uh, what would you say actually motivated this? What prompted this? Okay, uh, what prompted it is because of the uh, report done by a newspaper outfit, um, an investigative a report that they issued out and it has been a trending story or narrative in the society and it's a story that borders on human rights um, also uh, right of the citizens to um, uh, have a, a kind of dignity of citizens because it, it entails the dignity of Nigeria citizens for them to be treated right, uh, for their um, body parts to be respected, um, and for the right protocol to be followed in any medical issue. Uh, so it's also a medical issue, it's also a legal issue. So when um, we got the information, uh, um, uh, people um, uh, made uh, a report to us about the uh, story we didn't fit to not to side with anybody but to um a kind of delve into it to um, understand actually what uh, the report and story is all about and we also understood that the issue part of the issue is in court already so we detailed or we have mandated our health and medical law committee to follow up with that uh, to make sure that justice is done that justice is done not for any of the parties but for the society and we also understood that there are uh, many alleged victims out there and we're also offering them a free legal uh, services if they if they can come out then we offer them a free legal services to understand what their case is all about and if there is any action that needs to be taken uh, uh, then the association will help uh, will help them in that regard so that's our intention and that's what motivated uh, our participation in the whole issue well, I, I want to believe you are doing this in public interest. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but did it take time to also try to confirm whether the report put out there by the newspaper is accurate um, or are you just took it for the fact that it's a newspaper report? Okay, thank you. Uh, you know, we are not an investigating agency. Us is where issues of uh, human rights abuse um, uh, has been uh, unnetted. Uh, we uh, try our best to um, see how um, uh, we can uh, be part of it to um, make sure that society benefits ultimately. So it is not our right to, it is not our duty to investigate. The newspaper have come up with their report and that and there is a, a pending matter over the issue i think one or two of the victims went to court against a certain hospital and that's why i say that we detailed our committee to follow up with the matter to make sure to understand what is happening and to make sure that justice is done so justice could be for the interest of the victim justice could be for the interest of the hospital and justice could be for the interest of the state. So we haven't taken any position. 
we are saying that if such a trending story uh, such a, a story cannot be trending and we pretend that we don't know about it so that's why we detailed our committee to be in the court to follow up with the matter to actually understand what is happening because from the court case we will know whether the story is true or is not true then we will know which action to take thereafter okay, okay but, but just a minute, mm. just a minute. Um, i asked that question because the term i, I use there is to verify not necessarily investigate uh, because you use the word here condemnation so condemnation means more or less like you've already endorsed the newspaper report and you are condemning the act theory that's what i'm asking did you verify um, the details in that paper report before taking a position to condemn and possibly offer um, the pro bono services to the victims uh, because i also observed that the specific term used there yeah. is pro bono services mm -hmm. to the victim alone. So did you take time to verify? That's the word I wanted us to just clarify before. That's what I'm saying. There's a report. Understand? The report is uh, the one of the um, uh, offshoots of the report is in court. Understand? So if you are talking about verification, I don't know any other verification that can be better than that for our people to follow up with the matter. To From there, we will know what is happening. Mm -hmm. Of course, the parties will come to court. Of course, we don't have the powers to go and investigate. We are not a police or a security agency. We can't call the, uh, any of the parties that start asking questions. Yeah. We don't have that power. Yeah. So, but if the matter is in court, we all have the power to go to court, to observe what is happening, to follow up with the procedure, and from the procedure, we will get the gist and the truthfulness of what is happening. Understand? So, in talking about, from the, of course, if such the issue of um, kidney um, commercialization or whatever, it is not, it is not a good thing. It is condemnable everywhere, just like reporting about armed robbery. Of course, you condemn it. But in indicting anybody, we are not indicting anybody. We are not saying anybody is guilty of it. But that action of kidney harvesting in Abuja is condemnable. Then the persons that we have purportedly mentioned, we, we, we cannot accuse them. We cannot um, a kind of... Uh, find them guilty it is left for the court but our own is to be part of the process to make sure that justice is done if such a thing is happening to make sure that it doesn't happen again so that's why we got into it to for the benefit of the society not for anybody else okay i just want to mm. ask i know that when a matter is in court even the last legal year of the Supreme Court, that mm -hmm. issue came up. The AGL spoke extensively on this. It is already in court and you know. Why did you still have to go ahead with the press statement? Yeah, we didn't go ahead with the issue in court, as I said. Mm -hmm. Understand? I say I'm not shoot because some of the, uh, one or two of the parties, as I mentioned before, um, uh, sued a certain hospital against breach of their fundamental right. That's their case. Understand? And we are saying that because we have the right, the constitutional right to follow up with the case. So we are informing the public that we are following up with the case in court. Understand? And according to the report, now not to the hospital, that there are other hospitals in Abuja that are into it, perpetuating the alleged um, offense or act. We are saying the victims of the alleged offense if they come out, of course, they need to come out for us to understand what is happening. That will offer that rep uh, legal representation. And the legal rep uh, representation doesn't entail going to court. No. It entails taking their record, verifying what they said, and finding a way to get justice to them. And justice is not only gotten in the court. Of course, they can come out, and if we examine and we, uh, we see that uh, their story uh, do not have substance, of course we can't go with it. 
But if we see that their story has substance and is something the society will be interested in, of course, we'll find a way to find redress for them. But it will be terrible for the society for such persons to be in the society and they do not have any representation and we have NBA branches in Abuja. So the, if the, mm. the outcome now turns to be, uh, to be futile, mm. and we've already issued a statement, mention the name of Alliance, what will not happen? No, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't issue statements condemning mm. the so-called hospital. Understand? We are making reference to what the report made. And saying since the matter is in court against the hospital, we are following it up. Of course, anybody can mention any hospital, anybody can accuse any hospital. But to prove it is a different bargain. So we are saying that the matter in court already, because that's the only one we know that is in court, or there is another one. If there is another one, we will also issue a statement because this issue, this 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 topic is a topic that concerns each and every one of us. Tomorrow, if another uh, um, uh, so-called victim sues, sues another uh, hospital, we'll still issue another statement to follow it up. It is our right to follow. And we'll tell the public that we are following the social case up. Of course, once they have been sued in court, it is a public knowledge. It is in the public grave. So there is no hidden fact or there is no hidden uh, anything to hide up again. Because once you have taken a matter to the court, it is open to the public. We can discuss it. You can't stop us from not discussing the matter. You can't stop us from making, uh, 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 make, uh, telling the public that we are following up a case in court. Because once they have uh, been taken to court, it becomes a public knowledge. And anybody can say, even tomorrow, you can say, even go there to monitor proceedings. You can even post it on your timeline that you are going to court to monitor proceedings between this case and this hospital. And nobody will ask you, why are you mentioning the hospital? Or by mentioning the hospital, you have indicted them. No. Because I feel that the uh, press release is in support of your colleagues that are lawyers. I don't even know the colleagues. And let me tell you one thing about legal practice. We don't support our, uh, support our colleagues to perpetrate evil or to or to uh, indict anybody. I'm telling you, legal law profession in Nigeria is the only profession that yearly many of our colleagues are punished in the course of doing their job. And the persons that file petitions against against them are their fellow colleagues. If a man gives you a job and you, then, uh, if you give a man a job and he fails to do the job. And you come to me, I will write to the man and say, please, this man gave you a job, do it. And if he doesn't do it, I will be the one to petition him to the legal practitioner disciplinary committee. And I'm telling you, yearly, many are punished, many are derobed, many are uh, suspended. Yearly, we don't condone, because if you condone, you are killing the legal practice. So the person you are talking about, after all, the so-called hospital, if they are in court, it is still another of my colleague that will defend the hospital. So it is fifty fifty. Okay. Um mm. just to just to uh, wrap up on this aspect that has to do with uh, you said in the second to the last paragraph of your statement, you said in view of the fact that a certain hospital, Alliance Hospital that we keep Abuja was allegedly indicted by the report. Uh, taking it from there. Um, and looking at it from the caption you gave to your press statements, uh, which shows that there was a condemnation of the act and all of those things. Um, emphatically, does this mean taking a position against Alliance Hospital? Does this mean that um, um, the MBA, uh, Gariki chapter, also believe that Alliance Hospital is already guilty of this? What does this mean? Because the confusion, uh, the thinking, the thoughts in the minds of so many people out there who have read this very statement is that um, the NBA is standing against the hospital, Alliance Hospital, and is ready to offer pro bono services to purported victims against the hospital. Could you clarify this? Okay, thank you for that question because it's so germane. The, uh, the if you, just from what you read, we, we use the adjective allegedly 
understand and that's the that's the fact if you if you read the reports by the newspaper of course they indicted they accused let me use another word they accused the hospital and it is now there for the hospital to clear its name And why we mention it is to inform the public that this case in court, because it's a sensitive case, that the branch will be following up with the case. Not that we are going to court to say, yes, this hospital is guilty or is not guilty. No, we will stay by the side to observe what is happening. Because we are also a stakeholder in the society and we want to understand what transpired, what really transpired, and the best way to understand is to be part of the proceedings. So we are informing the public that we are following up with the case. Understand? And if there are other purported victims of such act by any other person or hospital, we are saying that we will offer them free uh, legal representation that doesn't mean we will take any other person to court. No. But we will look into the matter, uh, 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 see whether there are factual basis to go on with the matter. And if there are, then we can find a way to uh, get justice for those people. Getting justice doesn't mean going to court on the court, is one of the least methods. Of getting justice there are other ways to get justice which you know we have ADR, we have other means of getting justice and uh, uh, we're talking about the hospital it's not to indict the hospital it will be terrible to indict any hospital at this stage because they have worked so hard to get to where they are now so it will be it will be able for anybody to just stay in the comfort of his office or House to indict any hospital, uh, 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 especially since the matter is in court. The court is the one that has the power to find anybody guilty, guilty of such an offense. So that formed the basis why we mention because it is in the public way. It is in the public way that the. Uh, the report by the uh, uh, newspaper mentioned the hospital. It is in the public read that the hospital is in court with some purported victims. When I use purported because the court hasn't um, established the guilt of the hospital. So these are public knowledge. It is not hidden. So if I want to talk, I can tell you the case between the victim and the I will mention the hospital. It doesn't mean that I'm already finding the guilt, guilty of what they were accused of. Of course, at the end of the day, they can establish their innocence. So nothing, and it happens in every society. Issues like this come up. And all these things are just for the interest, for the best interest of the society. Nobody is side, uh, signing or trying to support anybody to perpetrate evil against anybody. Our, our result is that it will be it will be negligent on us to sit back and allow such a thing if it is happening to continue happening without doing anything. Of course, we know that it happens in the world. We we know the case of a former senior president where such a thing happened, the deputy senior president, and we cannot say that it hasn't been happening in Nigeria. So, if such a thing is alleged to be happening in Abuja here, of course, stakeholders should get involved. Everybody should get involved. Because it is an issue that concerns life. It is an issue that if left untamed, it can affect you and I. So, that's the basis why we got into it to make sure that such an act, if it is happening, is uh, nipped in the board. So that's our basis. Okay, two, two mm. questions before I round off this. Um, the first will have to be, um, as a legal practitioner who has a good knowledge of what the law says, um, what exactly 
should be the procedure, all right? Because it, it looks like it's still very hazy. What should have been the right procedure for uh, kidney donation in Nigeria, within the Nigerian contest? So what exactly should be the right procedure uh, following the laws uh, of Nigeria guiding or regulating kidney transplants in Nigeria? Uh, thank you for that question. You see, uh, all these things we are talking about, we are talking about this thing because there is no strict regulation on kidney donation in Nigeria. The, the, of course, our report, we mentioned the National Health Act. That's the, the, the grand norm of, um, medical law practice in Nigeria. If you are talking about um, a medical issue, the uh, legislative grand norm is the medical is the Health Act of 2014. If you if you check the uh, health uh, the National Health Act, some provisions mandate the the Ministry of Health to establish a committee that will take charge of this, that will bring regulations and enforce it against medical establishment that are into organ or kidney donations. But it's important that till now there is no, no such thing existing. And that's why we are seeing what we are seeing in our society today. If you check the Istanbul Declaration, it made it explicit that organ commercialization should be prohibited in all jurisdiction. It also says that wherever that the poor shouldn't be taken advantage of to donate their organs to the rich or elite in the name of organ donation. And there are many um, circumstances through which this can happen. So if we have such a committee established by the Minister of Health, you will see that it will be a kind of a, a warehouse where all these issues will be resolved, where if any donor comes or is reported, it, will, it must pass through the regulation. And that regulation must measure that such a person is not being taken advantage of, that uh, the donor is not doing it due to undue influence or financial inducement. That there must be a relationship, a connection between the donor and the uh, 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 donee, if, if the way we put it in law, or the recipient. That there must be a relationship there must be a connection, not somebody from the blues. Is there a law no. of that nature in this country? That's what I'm saying. The Istanbul Declaration is a law in Nigeria. Nigeria is a signatory to it. And once Nigeria has signed such an instrument, it is bound by it. So, I did, I did not, sorry, just to cut mm. it, um, is there no difference between signing and domestication? Of course, it has been domesticated. Okay. Understand? It's, it's, it's an enforceable um, um, uh, uh, let me say legislation or, or instrument in Nigeria. And I think the, our National Health Act ought to be amended, to be expanded, or even if not amended, the committee that's supposed to be in charge of this ought to bring their regulation and that regulation should encapsulate what is stated in the Istanbul Declaration and make it enforceable. Okay, my last, mm. uh, I, I suppose, what should be the role mm. of a hospital in all of this when carrying out a kidney transplant? Of course, there could be sourcing of the donors and all of that by the donee or recipient. What should be the role of the hospital, apart from just uh, taking the, the, the two people in question into the uh, 
so, I mean, uh, the theater, theater. The concurrent uh, mm. uh, surgery. Yeah. Surgery, the role of the hospital. Mm. Pre surgery process, mm. uh, surgery process, and the post surgery process. Mm. One. And at what point should you say, or would you say, that a hospital has crossed the red line? You see, uh, when I was talking here, I talked about MBA and I, to I talked about uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the disciplinary um, uh, measures MBA has uh, brought out to discipline its members and contend them so that they won't uh, um, go against uh, the ethics. So when you are talking about hospital, now you are talking about um, medical issue and the body that um, uh, the association that should um, make sure that these things, these regulations are adhered to is the Nigerian Medical Association. Because I believe that every doctor in Nigeria is a member of Nigerian Medical Association. So, they, I, be, I, I want to believe that Nigerian Medical Association has a procedure guiding these issues. So that doctors on their own shouldn't be the one determining when it is right or not it shouldn't be it shouldn't be subjective on a particular doctor now that there should be a, a a policy set out by the nigeria medical association that every doctor practicing in nigeria these are what you must do before you harvest or before you accept somebody to be an organ donor I believe it is there because it's not an issue of hospital. If you leave it to the hospital, they will be having divergent um, uh, regulations. It has to be the Nigerian Medical Association, of course, with the support of uh, the Ministry of uh, Health, bringing out a regulation that it, their members must abide. If you don't abide it, it's an ethical issue and you can be disciplined. Your license can be withdrawn. So I don't want to believe that the, a particular hospital should be the one to say this is the way we are doing it. No. The body which you people belong to, which the doctors there belong to, must be the one to bring us stipulations of how these things are done. And as I said, it mustn't be tainted by any undue influence, financial inducement or whatever. And the part is there must be a connection. All these things are put in place so that the poor wouldn't be exploited in our society. And we live in a poor society where multidimensional uh, poverty is averaging about more than 70% of our population. So if you don't put it in place, you see that the poor, their organs, will continually be harvested. For the, not just for the rich in Nigeria, even for um, foreigners. Even for foreigners, they can troop into Nigeria because we're a poor country harvest the organs of our young ones and they will go back and our society will suffer for it. That's why we say that this issue is a sensitive issue that all of us, not about any particular hospital, but this issue of organ harvesting must be nipped in, illegal organ harvesting must be nipped into the pot. Okay, between the yeah. NBA and the NMA, mm. uh, which of the association should, you know, uh, issue a release on this? Any association can issue. I say this is a societal issue. It's, a, it's an issue that borders on the Nigerian Medical Association. It's an issue that is in court now. Understand? And our own, we are coming in to make sure that if there is any victim out there, just like you have NGOs offering uh, legal representation to indigent persons because they do not have the way with that. If there is any person that has suffered such a thing, we will offer him uh, uh, um, uh, free uh, legal representation. And when you talk about Eastern, uh, Istanbul Declaration, when you talk about uh, National Health Act, these are laws. They have to. So they intermingle. They intermingle. Even journalists, it's part of your. Is it, a, is it not a, an outfit that investigated it? It's, it's, it's an outfit, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a media house that investigated it. So it's the problem of everyone in the society. The church, the mosque, everybody in the society. Because it can affect or touch any one of us.